Tonight we are on the random Pokemon generator website. We're gonna generate three random Pokemon and make a team out of them on the Gen 8 1v1 tier. Now, this I'll be honest, this is my third time recording this. These these mods were great. I got these on my second time, and I made a team out of it because I dude, like my 1v1 teams already had Gudra and Gyarados on it, and I got it randomized. But then I was recording, so it was a nice day. My window was open, then this bird was being really loud, and then I stopped recording because it was the bird. Anyways, we're going to generate, we're going to regenerate them. And if any single Mon of the three can't be used in Gen 8 1v1, we have to redo the whole thing. Like, we can't carry over any of the Mons that would be allowed. And not fully evolved Pokemon are not going to show up here. Three, two, one. Ryu Unknown isn't in this game. It's not in uh, Gen 8 1v1, so we're going to go again. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. Zero Ore is the only good Mon there. We have to see if Cherim is allowed or what. Um, let's see. 1v1. Okay. I don't like... Wait. What was the other Cherim that was there? Cher... Okay. <laughs> I, I could make the case that it's not allowed, but nah, we're, we're, we're still going to use Cherim. Is Cherim... So oh, thank God, dude. That's good. That is not the generator. All right. Third attempt. Garchomp Mega. That, that counts as normal Garchomp, so that's fine. Pincurchin, Heart, uh, Honchkrow, and Garchomp. We know normal Garchomp's allowed. Let's get rid of Cherim and go to... Yeah, that is from Gen 8, so that'll be loud. And then Honchkrow. I think that's in Gen 8. No way. Dude, why are we not landing a single Mon? This is absurd. Three, two, one. Torkoal, Nido... I don't think Nido Queen is in this. Oh, no, she is. She is. Nidoqueen, and then there's Torkoal, right? And Vespaquin. I swear, dude, Vespaquin. Good. I know Torkoal's in this. Torkoal. Honestly, this is like a very diverse team. There, there, there's some potential here. I kind of like this. Now, I can't guarantee I'm going to be fast with the team building. So, I'm going to cut to when the team's all done. And we're going to see what I came up with. All right, so I just took a minute to look over the moves, see what options we have. We're gonna start off with the Torkoal. What I wanna do here, none of our mons are really fast, so we're gonna kind of have them all be somewhat defensive. We're gonna do a rest set with the Torkoal with Iron Defense, Body Press, and Lava Plume. I wanna do this because I don't think, like the first thing that came to my mind was Eruption. We are gonna do Drought, but everything is kind of gonna outspeed me, anything that really wants to. And let's say Landorus is out here. My opponent is going to think it's safe to go Lando. And my whole team's kind of weak to Lando. And so rather than trying to just go with raw power and attacks, I would rather, um, what's the word, what's the word? Like bait in the, bait in the Landorus. And then we can Iron Defense, we can heal back up to full, and then kill it with Lava Plumes and stuff. I think this can catch the Mons off guard, where the opponent would think that uh, it would beat it. But Torkoal is very defensive. So what we're going to do, Max defense for body press, a little bit of special attack, and make this thing impish, but the minus speed one relaxed. Um, I think that's everything for the Torkoal. Now, trust me, I made the most insane. I, I had the most insane idea for Vespa Quinn. So, Custap Berry. I, I feel like it's still allowed. I don't know if it's banned because it's a very, very good item. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to let prevents opposing. Po I was, I was going to say, I was worried that wouldn't let me eat my own berry because it's crucial to the strategy. So what we're gonna do is Endeavor, Reversal, Acrobatics, and what was my last move? Endure, Endure, for safety. Wait, that's, that's two Endeavors, here we go. Endure. So y'all can see what's gonna happen here, right? Th this is very dependent. If this works, it's gonna be insane. So, Ideally, we're going to get hit by a strong attack that we're just barely going to live because Vespaquin's a little bit bulky. Why don't we make it? We're going to make it bulky, but mainly attack. And then we can do that because it looks cool. Sure. Um, Vespaquin's somewhat... Actually, let me let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. There we go. And Torkoal looked like this. And now I'm going to go back to the... Where, where's the zoom in? Here we go. So Vespaquin's going to tank a hit, right? Ideally, it's going to be in the bottom like the last 25% of its health. So then the cost up berry will activate the next turn. If we can use Endeavor turn one, which will only work if we are brought down to very low health, then we will Endeavor the opponent and reversal is gonna be super strong. 
However, if it doesn't bring us to low enough health, we can click Endure, and then that will guarantee the next turn, assuming the opponent brings us down to like one health, Reversal will be 100% power. We're gonna move first priority because of the Custap Berry, and Acrobatics is gonna activate once the Berry is used. So y'all can see how if this works, it's going to be insane. And why not make it shiny? Because Vespa going shiny is just really rare since you can only do it uh, from female combis. Now, for the Needle Queen, like, We've been insane. So why don't we just do something simple with this? Life Orb, Sheer Force, Earth Power as always. Um, Sludge Wave, Fire Blast. And instead of Ice Beam, I wanna do Icy Wind because speed control is very crucial in 1v1. And I think this is like a good way to do that. We're gonna make it, do we wanna max speed? I'm thinking it could be good with high HP, but honestly, here, let, let me zoom out, zoom out for y'all. We don't really have anything else with speed on the team. Icy Wind does kind of cover that, but maybe it's, like, Icy Wind assumes that we're using it for two turns to lower the opponent's speed. Okay, we'll, we'll kind of settle. We're going to make it modest. I want it to have all the attacking power it can. And, yeah, no, nah, nah, never mind. We're just going to go all HP. Four speed. Perfect. Now, this is going to be our team. And with all that being said... Let's get into the battles and see if it actually works for us. Dude, if this Vespa Quinn can actually get a win for us and do the strategy that I'm hoping for, this is going to be wild. This is going to be super wild. I'm, I'm going to go straight into the battle scene once we're in a battle. No opponents, though. No one is ready. No one's ready to fight this. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully it's not frame dropping. Dude, this software, I'm still getting used to it, but... It's frame dropping, we gotta go back to the main one. That looks good, that looks good right now. So what is gonna bring Vespaquin down? Rillaboom, Vespaquin might just naturally beat Rillaboom, honestly. Because it can't hit us with much and we still have acrobatics raw. Needlequin probably loses to Rillaboom. We are max HP, so potentially we live, but not if it's a banded wood hammer. And then Torkoal actually does pretty well against the Sock and the Rillaboom, but Tapu Fini. Tabu Fini's pretty likely here, I think. And Vespa Queen can't really hit that either. I don't know. I think Needle Queen is actually our best bet. It does neutral to good against all these mons. Sock is out here. I think this is a good chance to just lower its speed. Really? Oh, it crit. And now I'm off the... I, I was off the ladder just barely. But here, let me, let me zoom out for y'all. Now we are in the 1400s. Ladder for 1v1 is always 1500 on the dot. It's like people at the dot 1500 up to like top 300. It's insane. No, let me show y'all. We go down to the top 500 and already from here, all 1500s. I don't know why it is the way it is, but we are off of that. We are not in the top 500 and it's all because of a sock crit. Now, here is a Landorus for Torkoal to do its thing, except there's a Tapu Lele and an Azumarill, so we're not going to do that. Vespa Quinn might be our might be a good option here. I <laughs> Nido Nido Queen might get crit again, honestly. So I don't know if I want to send that in. It also loses to the Azumarill, maybe if we can't kill it with a single Sludge Wave, um, and it definitely loses to Tapu Lele. Our team doesn't have the best matchups, honestly. I can blame the random thing for that. So I'm gonna go Vespa Quinn here. Let's see if our strategy can work for us. You go into Lando. Now, you're going to have to use a rock move on me, I guess. Because there's nothing... Come on. Outrage? Ooh, guys. Guys. No way. Vespa Quinn, I swear. I. The question is, will Custap Berry, since we're going to use it um, on the turn that Acrobatics is coming out, I wonder if Acrobatics still counts as holding an item. Because we're going to click it now, and it's going to be base 55. But the item will be used after we click it. I don't know. Come on. Let's go. That was insane. That's incredible. That's incredible. Look at this. Yo, let, let me get a speech bubble for this. This is a very special occasion. Dude. Dude, 
That's ridiculous. It actually worked. I'm very, very proud of myself for that one. I'm so proud of myself for that one. That's simply incredible. Leave a like on this video for that, for that play alone. Oh, I should have saved the replay. Leave a like for that alone. Honest. Dude, it worked. I, I'm very surprised that Alanderous Outrage actually brought us down to uh, below 25%. That's insane, dude. I'm very happy about that. I'm super happy about that. Diancie's out here. So Needle Queen... Yeah, Needle Queen beats Diancie. It beats... It doesn't beat Cresselia, I don't think. Good luck. Good luck. Um... Torkoal loses to Diancy, maybe. Right, I say maybe because we can boost up on it if it is physical, but it also boosts up on us, so our body presses won't be doing all that much. Vespaquin. Hmm. Vespaquin actually might beat the. Not the Griselli, but the Gartana. I doubt you go Gartana, though, because it really doesn't do good against anyone on my team. So right now we're looking at Griselli or Diancy. Um. So this is tough. Yeah, yeah, my team just loses to them. I'm going Needle Queen. Yeah, it is Cresselia. I probably get outsped by it, so I'm gonna go for one Icy Wind, and then we're gonna get a crit. Wh why didn't it lower? Oh, <gasps> y'all, I'm so stupid. Y'all, I'm so stupid. I'm sure there were comments left at the start. Y'all, I'm so stupid. That's vile, dude. Let, let me let me put this up for a second. Let me put this up for a second. What's a good one? The cat, the gyro chicken. It, it, it's not in the right place. Regardless, I don't I just I don't even deserve to put a speech bell up. That's vile. I can't believe I forgot that. Every other move with the secondary effects, and I know sheer force is gonna do it, but sheer force icy wind. It's yeah. Let me own up to it. It's it's just new tech. People won't, people wouldn't understand. Let's get a crit. Needle Queen, make up for this. Even even if you do crit, it won't do much. Yeah, okay. I deserve... <laughs> Are you serious? I'm so ass at this game. Sheer Force Icy Wind. Really? This is what I'm doing. For, for YouTube. This is what I'm going to publicly post and everybody's going to see. Dude, I I'm upset at myself for that one. Uh, but, but let's just forget about it and move on to the next game. Gudra, Avalog, and Azumarill. I don't want to put Nido Queen in there again because I'm just so disgusted by what happened. Vespaquin, I want to let it shine again. Torkoal actually does nice here, though. I kind of like Torkoal here. At least against the Avalog and maybe the Azumarill as well. The question is, do you go Gudra? Oh, dude, Vespa Queen could shine here. We haven't gone Torkoal, though. I'm going to flip a coin. I'm going to flip a coin to see uh, which one I should go. Where's my coin, though? Where's my coin, though? Here we go. Um, heads is going to be Torkoal. That that wasn't even a flip. I just threw it. It's tails. Vespa Queen. It counts. Gudra. Okay, that's good. Uh, Gudra is the thing that Vespa Queen is probably better to deal with. Endeavor, don't go for a acid spray. Just like flamethrower me or something. That should bring me down to exactly where I want to be. And if you lose this time, video just ends. Cause I can't I can't do Vespa Quinn like that. Vespa Quinn did so good earlier. And I don't want to ruin its its name. Come on. This is so tense. We're going in. We're zooming in for this one. Oh, it was an acid spray. 35 still isn't bad. The question is, hmm, we are max attack. We're adamant, max attack. I assume you just go for a um, raw flamethrower here, <laughs> which is, dude, you have to go for a raw flamethrower here. I endure that, and then I acrobatics slash reversal. Acrobatics is 110 plus stab, which brings it to about 160 or so. Whereas reversal is going to be 200, so we're going to have to reversal here. Perfect. A Draco. 
And now we reversal, and if we don't kill, the video just dies. Goodbye, y'all.